Palace of the Governors in Santa Fe has a complex history, partly told by this wall behind me. We're next door to the palace right now. Uh, palace of the Governors was built in 1610 by the Spanish. Uh, for the last century, though, it has been home to a museum telling the history of this territory. And our best portal to the past is through photos. Preserving these little treasures is the job of the photo archivist at the Palace of the Governor's Photo Archives. Here's an example of a photo negative on glass. Hannah Abelbeck walking me through some historic photos, explaining how they determine what year it was taken and the story behind them. This is a, a tintype, which is another popular 19th century format, and we really like this one because it's a dog on a burrow. <laughs> but I think photos really give you a sense of connection with the past. There's an immediacy when you look at a photo that is really powerful. The collection is immense and fascinating. This one from around 1905, two women from the San Ildefonso Pueblo grabbing water from the Rio Grande. Here's the Acoma Pueblo, 1899. Moving ahead to 1910, men posing with an early airplane. It's estimated the museum has one million historic photos. No one's counted them all. Only about three to 5% of the collection is digitized. Enter Katie Carl. Yeah, this is one of Carl's bed caverns. She meticulously sets up each photo to capture a digital image so it can be stored safely online. And this is a new setup. When I previously was scanning with flatbed scanners, it could take five to 10 minutes to digitize one image. And now with instant capture, it takes a second or less. Precious pieces of history, soon to get the modern touch and live in the digital archive. I'm Todd Kurtz. I'll see you next week as we keep exploring the rich history of New Mexico. And you can see the photos that are digitized. If you go online and search for New Mexico Digital Collections, they also post the photos on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and others. So much.